is um, that God is saying that the delay is over. He will not no more longer prolong his word from coming to pass. As I was meditating, as I was reading today, this same word that he spoke to me to speak to you, it was in the book of Ezekiel in the 11th, um, actually the 12th chapter where it talks about uh, the people of God was being judged. There was a judgment that was coming on. There was a judgment that was taking place. But also there was blessings. There was promises that was taking place as well. And one of the things that I see and that's taking place in the season this time, um, there's the, the harvest time. And in harvest time, we know that the wheat and the tares, um, they grow up together in harvest time. That's when God does the separation. And so there's a separation that's taking place. There's a separation um, that, that's coming. And in this separation, the Bible says, be not deceived. God is not marked. Whatever a man sow of that, will he also reap? Those, the Bible says, that sow to the flesh, shall of the flesh, reap corruption. And so there's a, there's, there's a judgment that's coming uh, for wages for unrighteousness that's taking place and that's happening, but also for the wicked, but also what's happening for the, uh, the believers, those of you, who said you have said and and what I would like to say is that God says no longer will you be able to use this proverb in your spirit and say they use this proverb over and over over again in the book of Ezekiel when he says that the days are long and the visions will fail will not come to pass in other words there's nothing's gonna happen there's no promises that's gonna take place and uh, there's nothing gonna happen you're not gonna be blessed Everything that you believe in is not really true. You're living, you're living, you're existing. You're not just, you, you're not living, you're existing. You, you're existing because there, you're just existing. There's no reward. There's no no reason. Uh, there's no purpose for why you breathe and stuff like that. All kind of stuff you said in your mind, there's there's no God. He helps. Uh, someone else gets blessed or someone else helps and someone else does good and, and they do right, but they, they, they get good stuff that happens to them. The wicked ones, people do st stuff and how people and, and people are dying and innocent people and homeless people and there is no God. There's no God. But I want to let you know, I want to let you know all of those thoughts, all of those things that you said in your heart, they are not true at all because God says that the vision is for an appointed time and then it's going to speak and he said that I'm going to, I'm not going to prolong my word anymore I'm going to make it come to pass matter of fact he said that I I sent my word out and it will accomplish that will it will accomplish and it will not return unto me void God did not repent for giving you a promise he not did not repent uh, for telling you that he was going to bless you in a specific way. He did not repent for giving you his gifts. He did not repent for blessing you the way he did and brought you out and, and, and protect you from stuff over and over again in your life. And, and, and now you're in a situation where you're facing something again. See, but that same God is with you again. And so I want to let you know that the doubt, the doubt in Thomas, uh, you get tired of hearing the same old prophetic words over and over again and nothing happens. You feel like everything is vanity, false vanity, false divination, false everything. Everything is not real at all. But I come to tell you the fact that God says he will not prolong his word. He is going to fulfill what he's promised. He's going to bring it to pass in your life, concerning your life, concerning what you believe in. No longer will you be able to mope and grope on uh, saying that this is not going to happen. This is not going to take place. I'm tired of words. I'm ready for action. Well, God is, a, God is bringing action. God is bringing flesh. God is bringing life to those things that you dream. God is bringing life to those things that you've been hoping and having visions of. God is about to manifest those things in your life and he's going to reveal it for such a time as this to let you know that he is God all by himself and he's not a man. And so I'm done, but I want to encourage you today to say the delay is over. God bless you. The delay is over.